Hi friends, I'm Parois and in this video I'm going to show you that uh, how you can use uh, Google Cloud Speech and how you can convert the speech to text using Google Cloud Speech. Now if you see the documentation of Google Cloud, you can see speech to text client libraries. And uh, if I come down, you can see uh, that you can install uh, uh, this library for different programming language, for example, C Sharp, Go, Java, Node.js, uh, PHP. So I'm interested in Python, so I can just uh, use this. And you can see that we can just use pip uh, and install Google Cloud Speech. And uh, so first we need to install this. I already have uh, uh, created a project in PyCharm ID. Now the first thing is that we need to install this library. So you, need, you can just open uh, your PyCharm terminal. And in here I can just say pip install and after that, we can just use this uh, Google uh, Cloud Speech. So let me paste that in here. And now let's just wait for the installation. And now it's installing the packages and also uh, the requirement dependencies. And you can see that after the installation of the this library, we need to set up the authentication. And uh, uh, first, you need to create a service account name, and after that, you need to just uh, create a, a service account ID. So to do this, first of all, you need to have an account in Google Cloud Console. So I already have opened my Google Cloud uh, uh, Console .cloud .google .com. Now I already have created uh, a project in here, so you can see in the Google Cloud platform and I have created a new a project test project but you can create a project from here you can just click on the new project and you can create a project also make sure that you have added your billing information in here now now for the first time there will be no charges for you it will give you three months of free trail so if I come down uh, in here now it's not showing me in here uh, but right now you can see that uh, I don't have any charges in here because uh, after adding your credit card information, you'll receive uh, a trail for three months and you can use that without uh, any payment. So now make sure that you have added the uh, billing information in your Google Cloud platform. So now uh, the first thing is that we need to create a credential so we can just click on this and also you can add the billing from here. So we can just go to the API and services and we can just click on the credentials. And in here we can create our uh, credentials. So now in this section we can just click on the create credential and we want to create a service account. Let's just click on service account and let's just wait. Okay, so we need to give a name for the service account. For example, I can just give it my uh, service and after that click on create and continue. And also we need to select a role. So I'm going to just make it owner and after that we need to click on continue so now let's just wait and after that we can just click on done so now the uh, service account credential is created after that we need to create our uh, JSON key so we can just click on this and after that from here we can just click on keys and let's create our key so we can just say create a new key and from here we can choose JSON let's click on create and now it's created and you can see that it's downloaded uh, downloaded in here and let's just uh, copy this let me copy this and let me paste this now it's also installed uh, in here in my working directory so let's just wait now it's indexing now let's paste let me just change the name to uh, key.json okay so now after that and after creating your credentials make sure that you have enabled the cloud speech to text api now you can just search that in here uh, you can just click on this and you can just search for uh, cloud speech to text and after that this page will be open and in here you need to enable that now when you're enabling that uh, this uh, google uh, cloud speech to text api uh, it will require the billing account information and you can if you have added the billing information Then you can just choose your billing account and it will be enabled So you can see uh, I have already enabled this and the API is enabled for my this uh, 
a test project. So now let's write our coding. I'm going to just open my PyCharm ID. Now let's create our coding. Now the first thing is that uh, I have opened my PyCharm ID and in here I can create a new Python file. Let me just call that text to speech for example. And after that, make sure that uh, you already have added an mp3 file in your working directory. So I already have added. You can see this is my file.mp3. Now if you see, let me just run this. In this lesson, we want to talk about Google Cloud Speech. And also we are going to learn that how you can convert your speech to text using Google Cloud Speech. Okay, now we want to convert that audio to text using Google Cloud Engine. Now, we already have installed it, and now let's just import that. So I can just say from google.cloud, we are going to import speech. And after that, we need to just instantiate the client. So a client, so I can, so I can just say client speech dot speech client dot from service account file now this is the file that we already have created and also we have added that in here so that's key.json and in here i can just say key.json so after doing that we need to just create our file name so that is our uh, myfile.mp3 so i can just say myfile.mp3 and uh, after doing that now let's just read our uh, that file our uh, my file.mp3 so I can just say with uh, open we need to give the file name in here so file name like this and also we need to give the mode as RB and I can just say as F and now we can just say uh, for example mp3 data and let's just say F dot read So after doing that, now we need to create our recognition audio. So I can just say audio file. And in here we need to just add our this mp3 data as a content. So I can just say speech dot recognition audio. And I can just add the content. And the content is mp3 uh, data. Now after uh, doing that, uh, now we need to I uh, configure the media file output and uh, I can just say config and speech dot recognition audio like this. Now we can add the sample uh, rate in here so I can just say sample uh, sample uh, rate hertz and I can just use it for four um, hundred and also we need to give uh, for example if you want to enable the punctuation you can also just do that so we can just say enable uh, automatic punctuation punctuation and we can just uh, make this to true and okay so now after that, also we need to just give the language code. So I can just say language code, and that is EN US. So we need to give the sample rate. You, you can also give a, a, a lot of, uh, for example, options in here, but we are interested in these. So enable automatic uh, punctuation and also language code. So now after doing that, now let's just recognize our audio file or detect speech in the audio file so i can just say response and i can say client dot recognize and then here first we need to add the configuration so config config and after that we need to just give the audio so audio to audio file okay so now in here if i print response so i can just say print response now let's just run this uh, sample rate hertz it's showing that unknown field for recognition audio uh, rate 
recognition oh sorry it's not recognition audio but it should be recognition config so like this okay so now this is recognition audio but this should be the configuration so let's just run this uh, enable automatic so we have a typo so enable auto automatic punctuation let's run this and unknown field for enable automatic punctuation uh, enable automatic underscore pun oh sorry in here we need to just give a ct okay like this now let's run it again let's just wait for this so now we can see that we have received the response and you can see that this is transcript in this lesson we want to talk about google cloud speech and also we are going to learn uh, uh, that how you can convert uh, you are now this is uh, and here it's a uh, you are but we are assuming you were now make sure that you have a good pronunciation in here but uh, there is no problem uh, speech to text using Google Cloud now this is the response and also uh, we have the language code and also uh, like this uh, now uh, let's just uh, 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 use this so we can just say for uh, now we can access to the response dot results so I can just say for result and uh, response dot results and in here I can print for example I can just say transcript and I can just say dot format and in here we can use result dot alternative so I can just say alter uh, natives uh, zero index and after that I can use dot transcript so dot transcript so because you want to get the actual uh, transcript uh, information or the actual for example text so we can just use it like this and now let's just run this again and let's just wait and now you can see that we have received the actual transcript in this lesson we want to talk about Google Cloud speech and also we are going to learn that uh, how you can convert your speech to text using Google Cloud now it's more accurate but just in here we have a problem uh, maybe that's the problem from the my pronunciation but uh, there's no problem and you can see that how it's accurate and how we have used uh, Google Cloud uh, uh, Google Cloud speech and we have converted our speech to text